want to put it over my belly, well, it's definitely going in once. I'm so confused. Is it a shampoo? I forget the name. <laughs> I like that he surprised me. I get mascara all over my eyelid. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stanzi and welcome to today's video. So today's video is my monthly Bella Box video. We are going to open up this month's Bella Box and see what's inside here. Now if you are new to my channel, Bella Box is like a subscription service that gives you like some beauty items every month. You get a couple of full size items and mainly like little mini ones to try things out. Now I have a yearly subscription that was gifted to me and I really appreciate it because it gives me a cute little box every month and I love trying out new beauty stuff so and I also love sharing it with you guys so if you enjoy videos like that and you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button below and that bell for notifications so you can get notified of when I upload new videos I also do like fashion videos and vlogs so if you're new here check them out and um let's get started with the video and see what's inside the bella box now I opened it up only to take out the little leaflet thingy just to see what was on here and a lot of the stuff is stuff that I can't really put on top of what I have now and I did want to film this today so I figured I will share what's inside here and then before I upload this I will try out some of the items and tack it onto the video so that way we can actually see how they work and if we like them or not. So this month's box is this lovely like turquoise colour and it always comes a lovely packaged and when you open the tissue paper it feels like it's a present. All right, oh, let's start with the first thing that caught my eye. It is this sponge. It is Makeup Komodo from New York. So this looks like it is a makeup sponge. I mean, who doesn't love a makeup sponge? I have been using my brushes more so recently. However, I still use my sponges. I have them. I really like them. I feel like makeup goes on really well with sponges. Let's have a look at what the paper says about it. Like full size. Well, yes, it is full size. It is a revolutionary blending sponge of the highest quality and has been designed using the latest technology and developed according to the needs of beauty lovers. Let's open it up and have a look at what the sponge looks like. It looks like a regular old sponge to me. So let's see if just by touching it initially, it it differentiates from other sponges because we would definitely have to try this out with some foundation to see if it's any different oh it feels like a good old regular sponge I love the color though like I have never bought a sponge in this color my recent ones are pink it pretty much looks like those sponges it feels really good it feels like it will do a really good job so that's one we're gonna have to try out it says recommended retail price $9.95 but it says exclusive to Bella Box which is a little bit disappointing I'd like to say because I feel like $9.95 is a pretty good price and but if you can only get it to Bella Box well that doesn't help anyone really let's see what the next item is we have a little mini bio oil I love bio oil I just feel like it's a little bit pricey sometimes but when I've used it in the past I've really enjoyed using it it's so tiny it's so cute this on me will go in one one fitting it's so small like if I want to put it over my belly well it's definitely going in once so it, sample size 25 mils uh, we all know it's good for your skin it really hydrates your skin it says it helps improve the appearance of stretch marks marks and scars now I have used it in the past on stretch marks I found that it didn't really do anything but it did make my skin nice and soft and hydrated which I really did like if anyone has ever used bio oil on a scar please comment down below and let me know if it has worked for you because I did enjoy it and I know is it out is it out that has like a knockoff version of this I think they do let me know if you guys have tried that too now this one it says so for the 60 mils recommended retail price is $17.99 I'm going to actually open it and put a little bit on my hand just to like remind because the last time I tried bio oil I was probably like over 10 years ago. So it's probably changed. I mean probably hasn't changed but it's probably like I've forgotten where it's like yeah it is nice and hydrating. It actually you know what I remember it being more oilyish, and it actually doesn't feel oily at all. It kind of like seeped into my skin okay i'm going to like enjoy using that for sure i really like how it kind of seeped in there nice all right let's see what our next item is i have a christopher robin this looks like a shampoo luscious curl conditioning cleanser when i hear the word cleanser it reminds me of face 
However, this says it has chia seed oil, shapely curls and replenished hair. I mean, I'm liking the packaging of this bottle. What does the little paper say? It's a luxurious foaming cleanser. It gently detangles as it infuses a wavy and curly hair with weightless moisture, moisture from root to tip. It deeply conditions and instantly revives curls, leaving them soft, bouncy and beautifully desired. I'm sure you'd have to put conditioner after this. I'm still confused. Is it a shampoo? It does sound like kind of like a shampoo, right? So I will try it. I do have wavy hair, even though my hair's straightened. <laughs> I do have wavy hair. So I've actually never ever used like a wavy product in the shower or anything like that. Normally, like when I want to leave it just wavy, I just leave let it dry as it is and kind of sometimes I spray the texture spray and then hope for the best. So I will definitely try this on a vlog and share it with you guys what we think. Next up we have, oh, what is this? Embryo, how do you pronounce this? Embryolisi? Embryolisi. Late cream concentrate. Okay, this sounds French to me. Made in France because it's very French and stands you don't speak no French. It says, a cult favorite product loved by family, celebrities and makeup artists. Okay, so it says it's an all-in-one moisturizer, primer, and makeup remover. That sounds very interesting because I don't know if I want to use a moisturizer. And then if it's something that's a makeup remover, it would be quite oily, wouldn't it be, if it's going to remove makeup? Oh my god, this is the tiniest little sample. <laughs> like, the box looked promising, but this is like the tiniest sample to use. I feel like, like they should give you a month's worth of something so you can actually really get the feel of it. So it says it's for all skin types. I don't know. I'll definitely try it out as a moisturizer and then a primer underneath my makeup. So then we'll see how that feels. You know, seeing as apparently like celebrities are using this. It says makeup artists also use it as a makeup base to plump over the overworked skin of models, provide them with light catching radiance while maximizing the staying power of foundation. It also says a tube of this is sold every five seconds around the world. Well, I have very high hopes for this. It sounds so good. It sounds like I have to try it. So we definitely will be giving this a go and seeing how what's so good about it. 75 mils recommended retail price is $42. For the little one, the 30 mils is 24. This is probably about five mils. Yep, this is five mils. You can get it from Adore Beauty and Chemist Warehouse. All right, lastly, the full-size item. I mean, I guess the sponge is considered full-size. We have a mascara. This is the, it's a Maybelline Colossal. Oh, I've never tried this mascara, actually. Luckily, the color is very black. And I'm very interested to try this. If you see the, like, eye down the bottom, it's like it goes from a little bit to a lot. Very interested. The brush looks interesting if i do say so myself and it says up to 36 hours oh it's waterproof i don't know i don't love waterproof mascaras it says it's a waterproof mascara it's a volumizing smudge resistant which i need uh, and it's a volume lock formula okay we're definitely gonna have to try this it's a mega brush we have to try it we have to see if it's as good as right now i am using the the maybelline i'm pretty sure it's maybelline i forget the names of them it says recommended retail price is $25.99, but we all know you can always find these on sale at like Priceline or Canvas Warehouse for like half the price. Okay, we're going to try out this multifunctioning moisturizer and just see how great it is. It actually says it's for all skin types. So let's see if this is as amazing as they claim it to be. Whoa, I've got it indented a little bit. It kind of came out. So I'm going to do just like a little pea size amount as I guess normally. Pop it on my skin. Oh, it has a very strong scent to it. It's like rose. It feels, initially when you put it on, it feels like moisturizing. See how it dries down? It kind of feels a bit greasy-ish when you pop it on. But looking at it on camera and in my mirror, it doesn't look shiny or anything of the sort. So I do hope it's moisturizing because I like things that are moisturizing. It actually has really smoothed down. I like it. Okay. I like that it surprised me, like I thought it would be uh, very oily, but it's kind of looking at it, it looks really good on. Let's try the sponge. I'm going to have to wet this and open it. 
<laughs> my hands are a bit greasy. All right, let's try out the sponge now. Let me just go wet it and see how it, how big it's going to go. So I don't think it'll go that much bigger. Oh, it's got little KM initials, which I did not notice. So the sponge has actually blown up to be huge. It is really soft though. I like it. Okay, I am using that cream underneath as the primer. Let me just clip my hair away because whilst I blow dried it to look pretty, we don't need it in our face. We are going to use my Estee Lauder because it's one of my favorite and I want to see how the sponge is going to work with that. Oh, I feel like the sponge kind of drank that in. Sponge is nice. It's a sponge. I like it. It's doing the job. It doesn't feel too wet. I like, I guess I drained it out, but I kind of like that it's big because I feel like you get more use out of it, but I always wash my sponge after every use anyway. Okay. I feel like the foundation went on really nicely over that cream. It's sitting really nice. I feel like I haven't put any powder yet, but it kind of has covered my pores, which I like. I mean, this is such a great foundation anyway, but I'm liking it. Like my skin doesn't look dry, so hopefully it looks good throughout the day. I, I also use the sponge for the concealer. I forgot to show you guys, but it did a good job. I'm now just going to finish the rest of like my face makeup and we will come back and we will try out the mascara. Time to try the mascara. I currently use this Maybelline Lash Sensational. It is great. So let's give this a try. I'm interested to see if I'm going to like it. Let's see how this brush looks. Oh, it's actually all black. Why on the picture? The picture is looking yellow. I don't know why. Um, unless it is yellow and it's covered in mascara. Never mind. I like the look of that brush. It's nice and fluffy. I have used my eyelash curler on the lashes. They don't look that curled, but we'll do with what we have. I didn't put any eyeliner today. Uh, let's give this a try. Let's see. Okay. Coat one. I'm just going to go back and forth so then it gives it a little bit of volume and some length as well. I'm kind of liking that not a lot is coming on to the lashes so it's not clunky because a lot of the times the ones that are like voluminous are really really clunky and there's so much product and then it goes all over my eye. Off the bat a very very slight difference now I don't know if that's because it's the first time I dipped the brush in but there's a little bit but not it's not that noticeable I think you guys can tell let's do the other eye so same as I'm just gonna go like a little bit crossing away to kind of get coat all the lashes and then create that volume as well this eye looks like it's done more so maybe I needed to get more product onto the brush with that first one that one is done. It's a little bit better, but it's very, still very kind of natural looking. It's nice. I like it. We're definitely, it's definitely going to need another coat. So let's go in with another coat here on the right. I don't want to jinx myself, but so far I like the fact that it's not going everywhere. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of the time I get mascara all over my eyelid, especially after I've done my eyeshadow and I'm like, oh no. I think you can see the difference. It's really kind of like lifted it and coated coated them coated is that a word coated yeah it is second guess myself all the time let's try this eye all right doing the same and kind of slowly dragging it up because I really do want that lift as well that's two coats I like it it's not like wow where they're like full sticking out but I feel like it doesn't give as much volume as this one the lash sensational but it's coated at all and it has lifted it so i'm definitely going to continue to use it i just have to see how it is to remove it because of the fact that it's waterproof i tend to not use waterproof because i always find it so hard to remove waterproof mascara and maybe being waterproof i always find it doesn't lift your lashes as much but i'll definitely give it a go if you guys want to know more about it if you watch my vlogs, you guys, I usually put on makeup a lot during my vlogs. So you guys will see and I'll let you know how processing forward if I like it and if I use it again. And that's it for this month's Bella Box. I feel like I got a good range of items this month to try out, which I like. I'm definitely going to enjoy using that bio oil probably in one hit. However, I did actually like all of the items that I got this month, which is great. So I'm looking forward to using them all. As I said in the past, it would be nice if there were a few more items considering how they're such tiny, tiny little items. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I do hope you guys enjoy seeing the Bella Box monthly videos. We only have a few months left, so hopefully we get some goodies 
some good goodies is that even a word some good goodies next month. and if you do enjoy these videos please don't hesitate to give them a thumbs up i would really appreciate it comment down below if you've tried any of these items and i will see you all in the next one thank you guys so so much for watching bye